This is a story about a girl named Dinah who lives with her parents and two siblings, Zeke and Rebecca Ruth. They live far away from modern towns and are homeschooled in the waves of Christianity and the simple life. A bad storm hits the area, causing mudslides and high speed winds. Cousin Gage arrives and helps watch over Dinah and her siblings as their parents left without them. It's Rebecca Ruth's birthday and, to pass the time, Gage tells the children a story. Gage's story is about a small skibbereen or fairy named What the Dickens. He appears in the world without knowing who or what he is. What the Dickens is carried away by a bird and falls into the home of an elderly woman who thinks he's the angel of death. What the Dickens becomes trapped by the elderly woman when he tries to take her false teeth from a glass. He later escapes the elderly woman and wanders into a home with a sleeping mother and child. There, What the Dickens meets Pepper, a girl fairy who is on a mission to trade the child's tooth for money. After taking the child's tooth, Pepper agrees to take What the Dickens home in order to explain what her kind do. Pepper and What the Dickens arrive at Undertree Common, home to a local fairy group. Pepper gets reprimanded for arriving late, and What the Dickens is questioned by Old Flossie, a fellow fairy, but is found to be harmless and not a spy. After learning about their fairy origins in a pageant, Pepper and What the Dickens meet with Dr. Ill, the leader. Dr. Ill tells Pepper that she can't be licensed to fly outside, but What the Dickens defends her. Dr. Ill allows Pepper to try again to become a licensed fairy, but she must lead What the Dickens away from Undertree Common for good. Pepper goes to the bank to get money for her assignment. She then explains the different roles of the fairies, such as money collectors, traders, harvesters, and wish givers. In essence, the fairies collect money to trade for teeth so that they can plant the teeth which grows into birthday candles which they substitute with normal candles to grant wishes. They fly to a farmhouse and enter the room of a boy named Gale, the same person telling the story to Dinah and her siblings. Just as Pepper is about to take Gale's tooth, a cat walks in. The cat attacks Pepper, but Gage saves her. Gage traps Pepper and asks her questions about herself. Pepper refuses to answer and sends What the Dickens out to complete her last mission. What the Dickens arrives at a familiar house where the elderly woman who thought he was the angel of death lives. After demanding her tooth, he realizes that he was sent there for her grandson's tooth. What the Dickens retrieves a tiger's tooth from the zoo before arriving at Undertree Common. What the Dickens explains to Dr. Ill that Pepper did the best she could to finish her mission. Dr. Ill says that the mission was impossible and that he wants What the Dickens to take her job now that Pepper is gone. Suddenly, an alarm goes off, indicating that Undertree Common is under attack. However, the intrusion isn't an attack, but Gage returning Pepper's body. Dr. Ill doesn't trust Gage to keep the Tooth Fairy secrets and wants to kill him. However, they compromise and allow Gage to wish on a wishing candle that he'll forget about the fairies. After Pepper recovers, What the Dickens and Pepper decide to go on their own. In the end, Gage and the kids celebrate Rebecca Ruth's birthday and they all make different wishes in hopes it will come true. If this video was helpful, please share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe for more Minute Book Reports and thanks for watching.